Welcome to the notes on adding and subtracting polynomials. The first thing we better find out is what is a polynomial? We know how to add and subtract. Well, the thing here, you guys have a definition. It's in the form ax to the n, where a is a real number and n is a whole number. So a real number and a whole number. Here's an example right here. Okay, x to the fifth minus 3x to the third plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. So all the exponents are whole numbers. All of the coefficients are real numbers. Now notice, it's in descending order. That's how we write these, descending order in terms of the exponents. So we start with the highest exponent, 5, 3, 2. This really is a 1, and then when there's none, well, that's, that would be a 0 exponent. So that, that's how we're going to write them in descending order. Now, some polynomials have special names depending on how many terms. All right. Remember, terms are separated by a plus or a minus sign. So monomial means one term. Notice, no plus or minus signs, right? The negative sign in front uh, doesn't really count there. Binomial, two terms, all right? One, two. Trinomial, three terms, all right? You guys can see the three terms. And then if they have more than three terms, we don't really have a special name. We just kind of call it a polynomial. So one, two, and three. Now, now that we know what the polynomials are, we need to find the degree of a term and the degree of a polynomial. They're very closely related, but they are a little bit different. All right, the degree of a term is the sum of the exponents on the variables contained in the term. That's all it is. Just add up the, add up the exponents of the variables. Okay, that's all we got to do. So the first one, the variable is x. Well, it's just it's, it's to the second power, and there's no other add, so that is a second degree term. All right, we don't have to worry about the three. This one here, again, degree of the exponents. They try to trick you with this right here, but we don't need to worry about that. All right, we just need to worry about this one right here with the x with the uh, with the variable. So that's a fifth degree. This one, all right. What degree is really there? Well, that's a first degree. All right, sorry, fifth. Just put second. All right, this is the first degree. This one right here. There's more than one. We've got two, one, and three. So again, we're going to add these together. Two plus one is three. Three plus three is sixth degree. And then that, there is no there are no variables. So this would be a zero degree okay so that's how we have to find the degree of a term what's the degree of a polynomial then the degree of polynomial is the greatest degree of any term so we find the measure or the degree of each term and whichever one is the greatest that's our degree of polynomial we don't have to add them all together so we look at each term this is a that has a second degree this is a one that's a zero so the highest degree is two so this is a second degree polynomial see how that works this is one, this is zero, so this is a first degree. We look at this one, one, three, two, and this is zero, so the three is the highest, so this is a third degree. So that's the difference between degree of, degree of term versus degree of polynomial. <clears throat> now that we know that, <coughs> let's get to adding and subtracting polynomials. It's as simple as combining like terms. That term CLT, you'll hear me say it all over, combine like terms. What is a like term? These are like terms where it's same coefficient, or same variable, same exponent. So if I was to combine these, 5x squared minus 7x squared, well, I would get 5 minus 7 is negative 2x squared. That like term stays there. Okay, now what about unlike terms? Notice the variables are, or the exponents are different. So if I was going to combine 3x plus 3y, well, that I can't. So that just equals 3x plus 3y. So we're adding, subtracting, the idea of combining like terms is extremely important. Notice here, they have the same variables, but the exponents are different. Exponents and variables have to be the same. So how do we add? Really simple, okay? When we add them, we're just going to combine like term. I like to remove the parentheses, and then I like to group them by like terms. So I have x to the third y, x to the third y. So I'm going to say 7x to the third y plus 6x to the third y. Now I've got a minus, that xy to the third, and there are no more of those, so that's the only one I have to write there. And then I've got a plus 11, I'll circle this one, and a minus 4, so plus 11, minus 4. And then I just, so there's the remove the parentheses, I like to group them, and now I just combine like terms. 7 plus 6, well that's going to be 13x cubed y, Nothing combines with this one, so it's just minus x, y to the third, and then 11 plus 4, positive 11 minus 4 is plus 7, so that's how you add polynomials. 
All right, pretty simple. Remove those parentheses, group them, combine the like terms. All right, some people don't have to group them. You can just underline and or circle just when you identify the like terms. Now, subtraction. All right, people struggle with subtraction. It's one additional step. Okay, here's what I like to do. All right, when it's subtraction, we have to distribute that negative. All right, so when you distribute a negative, it changes the sign. So what I want you guys to do for the subtraction is make this a positive and then make all the signs inside the parentheses opposite. That was a positive 2. Now it's a negative 2x cubed. This is a pot plus x, or negative x squared. Now it's a plus x squared. This was a plus 1. Now this is a minus 1. Once you've done that, now it's the exact same as the addition, but that step is key. All right, so remove the parentheses and group them. So I've got 2x to the third. All right, right here, minus 2x to the third. All right, then I've got an 8x squared. Again, keep the sign that's in front of it with it. And I've got a positive x squared. Oops. All right, and then I've got a minus 6x. Nothing goes with that. And I've got this minus 1. Now combine like terms and you're done. So 2x squared minus, that actually cancels out, all right? 0x cubed, but that's just 0. I've got my 8x squared plus x squared, excuse me, 8x squared plus 1x squared. So that would actually be 9x squared. I've got my minus 6x, minus 1, can't combine those. And there you go. That's how you add and subtract polynomials.